Tell things. Y volume of cone is equal to 1 upon 3 pi r square h. For that, here I have drawn a cylinder and a cone. The radius of cylinder and radius of cone is same. Also, height of cylinder and height of cone is also same. We know the formula for the volume of cylinder and that formula is what? Pi R square H. Now, if this cylinder is empty and this cone is empty, if you fill this cone with water and pour it in this cylinder, you will find that you have to do same thing for three times. It means that volume of this cylinder is three times the volume of this cone. Only when the radius, the radius same, height same, that is volume of cylinder is equal to three times volume of cone. But we have proved a formula for volume of cylinder. What we have proved? That volume of cylinder is pi r square h which is equal to 3 times volume of cone. Let's take this 3 to the left side. So, pi r square h upon 3 is equal to volume of cone. Instead of writing like this, we write 1 upon 3 pi r square h is equal to volume of cone. When you go to ice cream parlor with your younger brother, suppose price of cone is 30 rupees and price of cup is also 30 rupees. It's nothing but natural. In both cases, Quantity of ice cream is same, but your younger brother will definitely buy cone. Why? Because ice cream in the cylinder and ice cream in the cone is same, but to occupy same quantity of ice cream in the cup as well as in the cone, the height of the cone have to be increased three times the height of the curve. Therefore, naturally, this cone looks bigger than this curve. Hi friends, today we are going to find the formula for curved surface area of cone, which is pi r l. Why it is pi r l? Let's consider a cone. In case of cone, in this case, what to find? This is the slant height of the cone. That is denoted by L. And radius of cone R. H is its vertical height. Now, if I cut open this cone, it will look like this sector. If we draw segment like this everywhere and cut them and arrange them in this manner, at that time, this 
is the slant height and this portion though it look as a length of r but actually it is the circular part so this length and this length this makes circumference of this base so this is pi r and this is also pi r total length is what 2 pi r half part is here therefore pi r half part is here pi r and this is slant height of this cone if we further divide it it will look like this this is nothing but rectangle so this part is pi r this is l but we know how to find the area of rectangle so area of rectangle length into breadth this is the length of the rectangle and this is the breadth of rectangle so length pi r into slant height l so this is pi r l and this is the formula to find curve surface area of cone so do you understand hmm. now let's find total surface area of cone this is the cone in ice cream parlor you have seen that there is a such cone and at the bottom there is a lid like this so total surface area means what the paper or metal sheet required to make this cone this part is known as curved surface area and this is the circular disc area of this part means what curve surface area of cone plus this area of circle just now we have proved curve surface area of cone is what pi r l and area of circle we know the formula what pi r square let's take pi r pi r as a common so pi r what remain here l plus r so this is the formula pi r r plus l for total surface area of cone friends if you like my video please like share and subscribe